Even if you tried, you wouldn't understand it Maybe something's missing inside of you Hello beautiful people and welcome to another video with your girl Siobhan. Thank you so much for joining me for another cleaning, motivational video. I truly appreciate you all and thank you for coming back if you are lifetime loyal. If you are new to the channel and you enjoy videos like this that have cleaning, a little bit of organizing, decorating, all of that, um, room makeovers, things like that, definitely subscribe. In this video, I'll be doing some cleaning. Um, no decorating yet, but definitely cleaning and organizing, trying to figure out where I'm going to put things in my office. So I'm starting off by, as you can see, I still have some boxes here that I needed to get rid of. And as you know, or if you don't know, I bought this house in November. And then a couple days after that, um, my husband and I both got sick with COVID. Um, even though I tested negative, I think I tested too early. Um, I still had all the symptoms. I lost my taste, um, sense of taste, sense of, sense of smell. Um, I had vertigo. I had an extremely bad cough, and it was just a lot. It was it was a lot. I was super super sick. He was sick. He ended up getting pneumonia, and so we didn't move into the house until the end of November. So packing and everything did not go as planned, unfortunately. Um, and a lot of things were just put into boxes and not really sorted through like I wanted to do so that I could only take the things that I needed. But it's okay, neither here nor there, we are in the house of course now and I am going to be going through everything and getting the rooms done room by room, little by little. And as you see, that's what I'm doing right now. So I'm working on my office and then I am also going to finish up my bedroom very soon. And yeah, I'm just getting the house done a little bit at a time. So thank you again for joining me. I'm going to continue to work and then I'll hop back on in a minute. So I'm just super excited guys. I can't even stress that enough. I've always wanted my own office area in my home where I could set up all of my little um, all of my little things so that I can be creative basically. So my Cricut machines, my um, heat press, my shirt, you know, make my shirts, my sewing stuff, my jewelry making, like I've always wanted my own separate area and now I have it. And a lot of people were wondering, like, why did I buy this house? Now, this house is older. It does need some work. Um, I'm not saying that, but I bought it with a vision. So when I walked in, I had a vision and I'm slowly starting to see my vision come to life. My kids have their own rooms. We have two bathrooms. I have a decent sized bedroom. I have an office area. And yeah, I'm just excited. I would have loved to have... Um, more land, like more grass area, but that's okay. I do plan on still getting the kids a trampoline and getting my son a basketball um, hoop, a basketball, yeah, hoop, I'm gonna say that. 
But yeah, I'm just excited about the possibilities and the changes that are coming to the house. And I, I'm just, I'm loving it. And also I'm building equity in this house. And one day I will leave it to my children. Hopefully I'll leave multiple houses to them. That is the goal. But as you can see, I am just trying to pull out the items that will be going in my office and organize them a little bit. And things will get moved around because, um, you know, as you're cleaning and organizing, you're trying to figure out where you want things to go and so forth. So you'll see some changes going on. But yeah, I'm just moving things around. I do not want the office to be cluttered. I want to be able to move around. I want things to have a place. So when I'm done with them, they go back in their place. Um, what else? I just want it to function very well so that I can continue to be creative and use my space and feel good about it. So that is the goal right there. My head tells me to stop, but there is nothing I can do. When I'm with you, I lose myself. I feel good. I remember being a kid, being young, and Christmas was such a big deal in my house. Like every Christmas we got tons and tons of stuff. Um, whatever we asked for, pretty much we got. I don't ever recall waking up and being disappointed, I don't think. Um, but my mom would buy me stuff that I didn't ask for as well. For example, she bought me a pottery machine where I could make my own, a pottery like a real pottery machine and then she would buy the clay for me and I would make my own bowls and vases and things like that for her. I remember making her multiple ashtrays because my mother is a smoker and at the time, you know, I knew that she would use what I made her. Um, <laughs> I do not agree with the smoking or anything at all, but you know, I do remember making that. She also bought me just all kind of crafty things always we always had crafts and we always had paper and pencils and crayons and markers and paint and um, just machines to make different things and jewelry making and bracelets and necklaces earrings all of that she always bought that type of stuff for us so I guess I can say that I get my little crafty side from her although she doesn't do any of that she's a decorator she loves to decorate but she doesn't do any crafts or anything like that but it's just I don't know I'm just so excited to have my own space I'm so excited so now I ran to Home Depot normally I like to go to Lowe's but Home Depot is closer so you know that's why I went there um, I recommend Lowe's go to Lowe's over Home Depot anyway I bought a some wood and some brackets for the office at first I was thinking about um, leaving the the walls because there's only a few walls in the office um, bare where I can add some decor but I wanted it to be functional so that's why I bought the wood and the brackets oh that's 50 
So now I am getting ready to sand and stain these boards that I picked up from Home Depot. I did the stain incorrectly and I want to tell you the correct way. So when you get wood like this, you want to get a pre-stain if you're going to stain it. And that's where I messed up. The pre-stain will help the stain adhere to the wood and soak in. So I definitely recommend that. The gray stain that I got was really light, so I did a couple heavy coats on it. I let it sit for a while, then I wiped off the excess. Um, it would have just been better if I just would have painted the boards, to be honest with you, because I wanted them to have a, a deeper gray to them, and the stain wasn't doing it. So again, I just did heavy coats of the stain. I went back, rubbed it off, and did some more and so forth until I got somewhat of a desired effect. I definitely don't recommend doing it the way that I did it. You know you're beautiful, you know you're beautiful. I'll sing until my lungs give out your beautiful. Until my lungs give out your beautiful Jumping from cliffs so high 
trust in our wings to fly Sometimes we're crashing down But we get up and start from the ground Searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Now I'm back in the office and I'm getting ready to hang up the brackets and the boards that I got from Home Depot. And yes, this was pretty simple, pretty straightforward. I ended up buying another level, um, not level, um, what is it called? Stud finder. And yes, I was, <laughs> I did not buy the batteries to go in a stud finder, so could not use that. So that was great. But I did have screws with the, um, what is it? Uh, the bracket things in the back that adhere to the drywall. So that still worked. I was able to hang it up in the drywall with those um, screws and stud stud things that you put in the drywall. But it would have been nice to be able to find the studs and put the brackets right on the studs, but that's neither here nor there. So I came up to my room. I took off the jeans. I put on some shorts so that I could get comfortable. And now I'm getting ready to um, use my laser level so that I, the boards will be level and it wasn't sticking to the walls and I was like you know what oh my gosh this is so annoying so I had to use my phone that has a level on it <laughs> but I was able to get the brackets put into the wall and hang that up and also what I wanted to say is that I actually have some more office stuff down in the basement it's in like a gray bin so I need to bring that up that has some more of my Cricut items in there that I need to bring up but yeah um, this took, it didn't take long at all. I would say maybe about an hour to hang those just to make sure I wanted to make sure that everything was nice and organized and, um, and straight and level. So took me a little, little bit of time, but that's okay. And I wish I would have made the boards a little bit longer. So maybe about 55 inches and 40. I did the second board 40 inches, maybe about 43 inches, but that's okay. I still like the length of the boards. So now I'm just trying to make a straight line and make sure that everything, again, is nice and straight and level. Don't tell you that there ain't no other way. Pack your bags and then you will go away. I'm not gonna be begging you to stay. Mm -hmm. Say maybe if you asked me yesterday, I would handle this shit differently.
So I know I've been gone for a couple days and people are probably wondering like, where have you been? What have you been doing? I actually have been really, really busy. <laughs> so I worked on Chris's little Chris's room. I also worked on London's room a little bit as well. Chris's room video will come out um, probably after this one. But I've been working on his room and getting that all together. I've also been working on this office, going to the stores. I also have a video of our weekend. The kids and I, we had a full weekend where we did, oh goodness, a few more things, a, a lot. <laughs> so um, definitely want to show you that. You know, just it's a fun little vlog video that I think you'll enjoy. Um, but yes, just been really, really, really busy working on things around the house. Oh, I also have a get it all done video that you will see shortly as well. And there's that video is jam packed. It's just jam packed. And then also I have a video of me cleaning and starting the twins bedroom. So I've been busy doing stuff. It just hasn't been full videos. And I think what I'm going to do now, like with this video, I'm going to give you what I have to give, um, you know, if it's the start of a video or the start of a project, I'm going to give that to you and then we'll just come back for part two. Because I don't like the long hiatuses either. And I don't want you to think that I'm, you know, that something is wrong or I stopped. I've just been working. I just haven't put the video or the content together like, like I think you'll want it. But I think the the videos coming out, the part ones and part twos will be just fine because you'll see that I am in the process of doing stuff. It's just a matter of getting everything done. So yeah, your girl has been busy. There's multiple videos I've been editing. <laughs> I've been editing them. So you'll get the video, the content um, very soon. And I just appreciate you all. And thank you so much. Also, I want to thank y'all for the last video when I was talking about the comment, um, some of the negative comments that I get and all of the positive feedback that I got. And I just appreciate y'all. Thank y'all so much. And some days are just so hard. Some days are harder than others. I go through moments where I am sad and then moments where I'm happy, like, you know, I'm free. And then moments where I'm angry. And yeah, my, my emotions go back and forth. They bounce a little bit here and there. Um, but yeah, you, I'm, I'm going through a huge transition in life right now. And um, I just appreciate y'all rocking with me. And again, all your love and your kind words and everything. And even though, um, you know, like today, I'm okay with Chris and I not being together and I'm going to find someone who makes him happy. Um, but there are days where London, she had a day where she was extremely sad and upset and and just like I can't believe y'all are getting a divorce which made me sad and then there are days where me and the kids have a talk or we'll talk and they're okay and they understand um, and then there are days again where I'm just angry that I was with this man for 21 years 21 years and I feel like um, the relationship should have ended a long time ago um, and so you know I'm angry and or I'm sad or and then I'm happy when I look and I'm like I've accomplished so much in my life I had a baby at 17 I went off to go to college I got a degree I've had multiple good jobs I started my own business I have two LLC's yes two I make a great living, a great income for my family. I purchased a home. I purchased a, I purchased multiple ve multiple vehicles. Um, I have goals and aspirations, and you know, I'm okay with not being in a relationship. But I, I enjoy being a wife. I enjoy being a wife and a mom, and you know, all of that. So, being a wife was part of my identity. I, you know, I got with him at 21 years old. So anyway, needless to say, I just want to thank y'all so much for your, just your kind words and your support and your love. It means the world to me and I'm just very appreciative and I'm just very thankful and I'm trying to give you the content and, you know, make it worthwhile, but also it's real life. Like I don't do anything 
extra that I wasn't going to do in the first place. I was going to fix up my office or I got to clean up the kitchen or I need to redo the pantry or, you know, I don't do anything that I wasn't going to do. Um, <laughs> and y'all just y'all are just so genuine and so real. And I just appreciate y'all. So thank you so much. Want the act, not the ghost. Running through it with the young influence, had the less impressions. I'm succumbing to it. I've been giving yeses when I shouldn't do it. I complete ejected with the moves elusive, and I'm barely moving, but I'm still gonna boost them. I can't work on winners when I know you're losing. So I went the winners and they throw the deuces. Guess I have to pivot, shooting the bazookas for the facts. I need racks, yo. Tell them laugh. Uncle Sam, roll me plot, we'll get a whack. Contract, give me the max. I got lab on my back. You ain't that, then it's raps. Whoa, 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 whoa. For the record, I'm done trying to make y'all comfortable. For the record. Try grow that it's done for you. For the record, lab on me going all the way. For the record, ain't trying to link no time to waste. For the record, for the record, for the record. For the, for the record. City of mine, how I love, how I love the city of mine. It never gets me down. City of mine, how I love, how I love the city of mine. It never gets me down. Yeah. I was born in the city. I was raised on its edges. My pop work is life when it's complex. I found love in its center. If I could live here forever, think it'd be for the better. I love the weather, even though it's fog 24 7. I love the people. This is a city I met all my best friends. And I wanna thank every brick. I wanna thank every entrance to every building that I step in. In this city of mine, oh, you most my best moments in life. See, I fell in love for the first time in Golden Gate Park. I saw my first rap show at Great American Hall. I used to beg my homies for a ride across the bridge to go. Off and spend the whole damn day doing whatever we want Keek drove us down to Ice Place while we roll up a blunt And me and Jack will get stony, walk around and get lost Don't think I'll ever truly pay back while I was lucky to get Just by walking through the city I will say one of the things that you should have in your house are command strips and hooks I feel like they are just amazing guys They are amazing So anyway, I just put a command hook here I'm going to hang my Cricut um, mats on the wall it just frees up some space they're not on my desk i can grab whichever one i need i have more like i said i have they're in the basement but yeah the command hooks and the command strips are a must you should have them in your house i believe in them for hanging pictures for hanging book bags and purses and just different things they just work anyway i'm hanging up these pegboards that i got from ikea they are called the skatis if i'm saying that correctly it's s k a DIS and they were in a haul a previous haul but I picked up these again from Ikea um, these boards were $24.99 a piece I believe $24.99 super easy to hang very functional I like them I will um, have another video when I start to organize and um, decorate the space showing me organizing the boards and stuff as well 
or like adding things to the boards. But yes, I'm going to get this hung. And these are the closet systems that I got to uh, get from Ikea. This is the back. So the white part was actually supposed to be inside the closet and there was supposed to be like a brown backing. But I had the gentleman who put these together for me flip it so that the white could be on the outside because I knew that this was going to be my office area and I wanted to have that white aesthetic and not like the brown um, cardboard look. I didn't want that. So yeah, just kind of work that out. You just got to think things through. That's all. Um, so yeah, I'm just hanging it up on this closet system really quickly. And then I'm going to get back to just kind of organizing and getting the rest of the room together. extra but i know i'm the same yeah. love me in spite of my trauma give me what i need instead of the drama cause when it pop off it's like oh my all good all day but the night we be going so hard on the flip side so tell me we'll be on a day babe i could keep that same energy when you go low i go low too but you'd rather stay high i know can we stay high, babe? I'd rather be on that way Tryna control our emotions If we on a rise out of passion We could share love in the ocean But if you wanna go insane either way, baby We could go all night We could do it all night We could go all night, all night. Do we heal, do we bleed? I'ma follow like, your lead, but we could go all night all of my calls go to voicemail I block you so I don't raise hell Should've talked through it in detail Our separate ways ain't gon' end well, no But when we get back, it's like, oh my All bad all day, but the night I Get that good, good till we act right So tell me where we on the day, babe I could keep that same energy When you go low, I go low too You'd rather stay high, I know you Can we stay high, babe? I'd rather be on that wave Tryna control our emotions If we on a rise out of passion We could share love in the ocean But if you wanna go insane either way, baby We could go on We could do it all night We could go all night, all night Do we heal, do we bleed? I've been calm, cool, collected, but you pushing on my nerves And I'm knowing your attention, I'm under pressure Okay, I'm admitting that a couple things I said Got acidic in the tone and the presence, I get careless Long as you know I come with imperfections When you look at me, you see the soul through my flesh You something special Know you looking bomb, the way you dressing gone Flex it, hold it still and let my mind digest You got the leverage, you got the upper handle on the situation You worthy of a million more of the storms that we weather so now I'm just going to vacuum a little bit and the only thing I don't like is these angles that are in the office. <laughs> these angles drive me crazy. I hit my shoulder off of one of them and it's still bruised. It's been a couple days but it's still bruised. Um, I am just cleaning up the dust and everything that fell on the floor from hanging the brackets and the walls and I did add an extension cord and a surge protector so that I'll have somewhere to plug in my Cricut or my different machines, put it that way. There are no outlets on this side of the room, which doesn't make sense. I do plan on having a, um, an electrician or someone come and put outlets in over here, but there are none at the moment. So your girl just had to make do, make it do what it do. And that's what I did. I picked these up from, I picked up the surge protector and the extension cord um, from 
Where did I get these from? Home Depot, I believe. Uh, or Target. Maybe Target. <laughs> but yeah, like I said, I'm just making it do what it do so that I can use my stuff and everything works perfectly. And I don't want to be plugging in and unplugging like my computer or my iMac and my printers and things like that. I want that to be plugged in already, which it is. I don't mind plugging in and unplugging the Cricut machines. I'm okay with that. But anyway, I'm going to finish getting this together and then I'll show you the final look of it. Fool me once, fool me twice. When you're hiding things, might as well be lies. Can you ever get it right? How long will I let this shit fly? Hit up my girls, pull up, I'm outside. Wait about a curb, too upset to drive you, get no money. look back at the before now remember the office was a mess because I wasn't using it right <laughs> I needed to get it together and I'm, like I told you before I am relaunching my statements by Siobhan and I'm going to have a website and everything I will leave all of that um, well I'll tell you once the website is complete it's not quite done yet but yeah here we have the office area and I love it so beautiful people, here is the office. And I am not quite done just yet with it, but this is what I've gotten done so far. So I'm just gonna take you around really quickly and show you. I did end up adjusting the boards up here. They are a little straighter now. So, and then we have the shelves over here. I just put those books up there. I'm not sure if those will be stained. I have not organized anything just yet. So everything may not be in its permanent place. We have the desk. The desk will stay here. Then we have my printers. Okay. And now you're getting to the mess that I'm about to show you, okay? 
So I do want to put a little decor in here, not too much. I may put a rug down. I may put like a plastic runner thing that you can slide your chair over, over there. I do have outlets under so that I can hook up my crickets and you know, my sewing machine and um, heat press and different things like that. The desk and everything is plugged in and working. I didn't mean to lock that, but so that is done. The printers are all plugged in. So again, I have to go through a lot of this stuff and take stuff out that does not belong and so forth. But then we have this, okay? This is the disaster over here. Now, some of this stuff will be going. I won't need it. Um, that bag right there is just pillows. Okay. Um, that is our fire escape ladder, an extra shelf. Like, different things need to be organized. That's some extra shirts and different things that I can use for the Cricut. But again, all of this is going to be organized and sorted through in another video that's coming up. So don't worry about that. I want you to focus on this, how it is. I'm going to change out the curtains. I'm gonna change the curtains and I'm going to, like I said, get a rug. And then we have all of this. Um, I do have another one of these. My television is sitting on it. So I think I'm going to bring that over here and get you know bring it in here because it's, it's office related stuff and then i'm going to get a new dresser to sit my television on that was always the original plan this is all my cricket stuff this is all cricket stuff so this is good to go i'm not worried about that um but again i need to organize a lot of this stuff those um yours i guess you would call it i got those from michael's i think either michael's i think michael's and they look like the alex drawers from ikea but they are not and i think i'm going to once i clear off this area i'm going to have i think another desk area that houses my makeup and stuff like that my beauty items so i'm gonna keep that a little bit separate so the beauty items might be over here and the office stuff is going to be over here. Then we have the stuff that I make my bracelets, my jewelry and stuff. And I'm not sure if I'm going to get back into making bracelets at the moment, but I do still have that. What else? We have my sewing machine, serger, all that good stuff. Again, we have my desk and we have the printers. And yeah, I just need to go through and kind of organize a lot of this stuff. There's some more jewelry items over there I did use um, an extension cord and a surge protector to go from my bedroom side around because there are no plugs over here on this side there are no plugs so I had to make it work and then again we just have this stuff which will be in another video coming up very soon because I'm like I said I'm trying to get this office area done as soon as possible so we shall see but let me yeah I just got to go through and decide what I need and what I don't need up here I, I'm not going to be keeping everything and I don't need a lot of decor in here I don't want a lot of decor in here it's not necessary to say per se it's not necessary and yeah I want it to function I want to be able to move around do what I need to do so this is the office area and I love it so far. I really do. It's a nice amount of space. I can move around freely. I got these gray cubes from Bed Bath & Beyond and I got the tables from Ikea. I got the shelving units from Home Depot or Lowe's. I just stained them a dark gray to go with the the gray this is like my theme right here the gray the white the gold 
the black, you know. It wasn't intentional, to be honest with you. It just kind of worked. And yeah, that is it for the office right now. But don't worry. I'm going to come back and I might do a little bit of styling up on the shelf on top. And as well as like bringing in a rug and some different things, but not a lot of decor. And also with the curtains. So we shall see. But thank y'all for watching. Thank you so, so much. Leave me a comment down below. I truly appreciate y'all. I love y'all to the moon and back. And I'm just stepping back so y'all can get the full picture. And yeah, I like it. I need to bring a trash can in here just for like little scraps and things like that. Probably put it over in the corner. But I'm gonna make a list and get it done. But thank y'all for watching. I'll talk to you later in the next video. I love y'all.